What's up, you guys? It's your girl Isabella Tertero back at it again and hit you with your daily message. Thank you so much for all the likes, shares, subscribes, love, donations. You guys are greatly appreciated. I'm trying to figure out why it's so dark. I guess I can turn this light on. Mm. Anyways, so if you're looking for a personal, all the information will be in the description box below along with my Etsy shop linked in there. Okay, so the song that was just on was Tyler Hero by Jack Carlo. All right, so <clears throat> before, you know, I was shuffling and kind of just listening and seeing where it went, but it's like the, the what stuck out when he was sitting there talking like was... The haters that hate the most look just like me. Okay. <laughs> and the fact that the five of ones is on the bottom. Ugh, like, it's so annoying. It's so annoying. Haters. It's always, it's always somebody hating on you, Gemini. Always somebody hating on that ass. Black Widow. Penny Pension. Transition and lopsided lashes. Okay, so <sighs> Black Widow praying on somebody. All right, so I feel like the person who is praying on you the most is clearly somebody who's closest to you that you're not realizing, you know, that, you know. Like, like they're, they're hating on you. And it's because they feel like you're sitting, like you don't have anything to stress about. You don't have anything to worry about. Like they feel like you get everything that it is that you want. For some reason, they feel like everything is just given to you. Everything is handed to you. Um, you're living in the lap of luxury, which some of you definitely are. But it's like this person does, look, and it's like this person doesn't feel... Like, you have to go through the same shit that they do. It's like, I really feel like a comparison energy. This person is sitting here hardcore comparing their life to yours. And it's like, they don't understand how you can be living in this, you know, in this setup. I feel like there's someone who's very envious over your home. I'm being drawn to the peacock feathers in her hair. Randomly. There's something with that. I feel like there, there's somebody, like, I feel like that was in the, um, that just, that message for the air signs, okay? I feel like there is somebody who is definitely, this may be, look, I'm thinking this might be an ex's mother. I say an ex's mother, um, ooh, might be an ex's mother, shit. Or your mother or an ex. Like, I feel like this person doesn't like the fact that people, like, they feel like com people compete for your attention. And it's like, they want to be more like you. Like, I feel like they're, in some way, they're making themselves your rival, even though I feel like you don't feel like this is a competition. I'm my only competition. I'm competing with myself. I feel like Gemini is in this energy of not competing with anybody, just doing what, you, what feels good to you in that moment. And I feel like somebody hates, the fact that they feel like you don't ha have any stress. It's like, I'm not, I'm not saying that you don't have any stress, but it's like, they don't see it. I feel like you hide your stress very well. And there is someone who is really fucking bothered by that. And they have, like, they hate that people compete for your attention. They want people to covet after them and to compete for their attention, okay? I feel like this penny pension energy, like, this person is in a very lack base mentality like I feel like they are actually having issues financially and they see you doing well okay so and them seeing you do well that's not making it any better like I feel like you should definitely be protecting yourself in this time from the evil eye because somebody is definitely coveting after what you have I feel like you're also going through some transition like transitioning away from certain people that are in that lower level like mentality like i feel like this lop, lopsided lashes this person is out here looking damn crazy because you are 
walking away from them or not choosing to put yourself into any kind of petty argument right now, okay? Message. Message coming in in regards to this. Like, I feel like somebody is definitely going to be coming to you or spirit is letting you know that this person is wanting to speak to you or is wanting to come in and converse with you. Somebody's wanting to have a conversation with you, okay? I feel like they want to know how you do it. Cutting through the bullshit. I feel like, look at this. Lurking energy. Like, this person is freaking lurking. <sighs> they definitely talk about you. This person talks like, it's almost like they don't have anything else better to talk about. So, they decide to talk about you. Like, you're the topic of conversation anytime that they, like, that's, you're their, go bitch. You, your money, your stability, your, you know, sexuality, your, like, attractiveness like you lure in this person and they feel like when there's nothing to talk about they're gonna bring you up okay it's just what it is it's like i feel like they bring you up in any conversation like once it's once once the conversation goes silent they wait like i feel like this person waits for an opportunity to bring you up inside of a conversation to get information about you to get inside knowledge because i feel like they've already been cut out you have x this person out of your life completely and it's like they're they're lacking i feel like this person might have been pulling off of your energy and might have possibly been getting some kind of good luck or abundance or grace come to them when they were in your energy and dealing with you. But since you pulled that back, mm -mm, they, them, them lashes over there flopping in the wind. They don't know what to do. Like, I feel like <laughs> this person is out here looking crazy as hell. Like, I feel like their karma is being observed visually. Okay? It's not just because they ain't got... It don't have nothing to do, like, I'm feeling like they're spiritually broke, okay? This person is spiritually broke, and it's starting to show physically. Um, yeah, like, like, Black Widow. I feel like dangerously, this person is possibly spending dangerously, and they need to, you know, chill, Somebody needs to be chilling in regards to spending in this time, all right? But it's like, I, I'm feeling like keeping up with the Joneses type stuff. And they feel like you're the Jones. or the, There's something that you do that you do very well. And they're trying to keep up. Keep up appearances. Keep up. I feel like this person, like, I feel like you've actually x them out of your life. You're doing very well, and they're also speaking to other people, trying to make it seem like y'all are talking or like you are actually still in communication with them, even though they're completely out in the cold. Like, they have, like, there's no communication between you and this person, but they're leading on, letting people think that y'all are still conversing. Okay. Nostalgia. I'm getting hardcore Sagittarius vibes up in here. You may be dealing with a fire sign. Somebody's really reminiscent and missing how things were with you before you bossed up, before you came into your boss-like energy. And this person really wants to test the water with you. They want to have a conversation. Like, they want to have a conversation with you, but I feel like... I feel like they... they they know they've got to be careful in how they approach you because there's something about your words that are very cutting and you're fiery, very passionate. Like, I feel like they realize that you're no longer in this, like, 
naive energy like they, they don't feel like you are someone who can be easily manipulated anymore because of you standing up for yourself in some way okay like i feel like you really bossed up and stood up for yourself and stood your ground in regards to cutting certain people certain ind individuals out of your life and you really stood by that okay I am getting that there is someone, possibly a second person that they're sending in to try to test the waters with you to see if they can get things to go back to how they were, okay? Like, I feel like this person isn't really, like, they're not going to stop. They're not going to stop. Like, they feel like whatever you had in the past was too, too strong of a connection to just let fade, So what else we got with this? What does Gemini need to be aware of? I do get the energy of some form of bribery coming in. Okay. But you need to be aware of what is being offered in this time. Um, there is some kind of bribe, bribe that's going to be presented to you, and this may have to do with children, or a bribe for the children, or a gift to your child, or a gift to your children that you need to be aware of, but it's because this person feels burdened and ex exiled. They, whoever this is, they feel exiled and pushed out. They just feel pushed out. They feel like the, there's no way back in, and that's the only way that they're going to be able to reach you. And it's kind of like a sitting, waiting, and watching energy to see what happens. Like, I feel like there's someone who feels burdened by the fact that they don't know where they stand with you. Even though I feel like you make it very clear where you, where you're, where you stand. You stand nowhere. Like... You're exactly where you, you feel like this person is exactly where they need to be. This is where they stand. But they they feel like they don't know where they stand with you. Okay? They, you know, I don't know how, like, I don't know how the, you could be any more clear, to be completely honest. Like, I feel like you've made yourself, you know, impeccably clear. But they're just, like, feeling like they don't know where they stand with you. Okay? They just know that they're on the outside trying to figure out how to get back in. And I feel like they may use your kids, not necessarily use your kids to get back to you, but to offer things to your kids or to spend on your kids financially. If this is a, a child support or, you know, baby daddy, baby mama situation, somebody may be trying to offer more than child support in order to try to come back into a situation to get themselves out of some kind of exiled energy. Okay, so be expecting some kind of message coming in on money. For those of you that that's not the situation, I feel like you are going to be getting some kind of information coming back about some child support. Um, some money that was excluded or... Some money that was overlooked in regards to child support. And I feel like this is what what comes out, what the message that's coming out in regards to this money is going to leave someone else feeling very burdened, okay? Like having more on their back than they can handle. And it's like I feel like somebody was trying to be sneaky, trying to get away with something, trying to hide money. Y'all know this is a general message, so take what applies. And leave what does not. Because I know all y'all don't have kids. But I feel like a lot of you do. Because I keep seeing a child. Okay. Indecision. Two of swords. Nine of wands. Ace of wands. Alright. I feel like you're about to get some kind of blessing come in because you stood your ground in regards to a certain situation with Xing out certain people who were doing that. Like, bear, like, this is like anxiety. Like, I feel like 
you're about to get some kind of blessing, new beginning, new start in life. Something growing. I feel like you are about to have some kind of blessing come into your life because you are exiting out um, things and people that cause you anxiety. And it's like whenever um, this energy tries to creep back up, like, and I definitely feel like it has something to do with gossip. Like, I feel like you're learning to control yourself more or you're moving into this more mature energy where... You realize you don't have to tolerate certain things or certain behaviors from certain people. And you're really like not budging on that. I feel like you're about to be blessed because of um, avoiding gossip. I heard hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. Like I feel like you're coming into a very blessed time because you are, you know, pulling yourself out and away from the bullshit. Okay. For some of you, I'm I'm seeing a random message. I'm seeing a random message for some of you though, Gemini's. I feel like this is going to cause you anxiety. There is something that's about to cause you anxiety. Um I'm seeing like nine months. Some of you, you might have had a one night stand or, you know, a hookup with an individual who you are not in partnership with. And um, you're going to be getting some news about um, a pregnancy. There's definitely, I'm seeing something where somebody had a one night stand or hooked up with somebody who they were not in a full on commitment with. And, um, yeah, there's a baby coming. All right. This may be you or somebody around you, but I definitely feel like somebody got pregnant off of a one night stand and is about to have some serious anxiety issues in regards to this. Like, I see it. I can't unsee it, y'all. Anyway, so this is y'all's message. Thank you so much. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye.